In this video, we're going to integrate one over the square root of x with respect to x. Let's go ahead and work through its solution. The goal is to use something called the power rule, which allows us to integrate x to a power as long as that power is at negative one. So whenever you have the square root of x, you can write that as x to the one half. And that's gonna be our first step in this example. So we have the integral of one over x to the one half, and then here's our dx. And now we want it to be x to a power, so we're not quite there yet because we have one over x to a power. So now what we'll do is we'll bring it upstairs, and when you do that, it becomes x to the negative one half, and then here we have the dx. And now we can apply the power rule. I'm gonna write down the power rule up here for you so you see it. It says if you have x to the n dx, this is equal to x to the m plus one over m plus one plus c. And this works almost always. It won't work uh, if n is negative one. So this is valid for all n not equal to negative one. So that's important. If n equals negative one, you get the natural log of the absolute value of x. So in our particular example, n is negative one half. So we just have to add one to that. So if you add one to one half, negative one half, it's really negative one half plus two halves. So it's really just one half. So this is equal to x to the one half, and then you divide by one half. And then we still have our plus c. So this is equal to, because we have x to the one half and it's being divided by one half, it's the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal, which is two over one. We're basically multiplying by two. So this is two x to the one half plus c. But now we can go back to square roots. So this is two square root of x plus c. And this would be the final answer to our problem. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.